Now, our objective is to understand the Fury Launchpad and uh, understanding what are the services which are responsible for getting the data and uh, exploring those services. So what we are going to do now, so we will be just following a simple procedure to explore it, which I have written down. So you don't get uh, really confused in between. So first we are inside Fury Launchpad. We will then open up any application which we want to explore and um, we will go into the service section and uh, we will find out what is the service which that particular application will be getting the data from. Once we get the name of the service, we will be trying to find the model provider class and data provider class of that particular service. So how we do that, we basically will be finding that service inside our SAP ECC system. Now, as the front end system and the back end system are present at a same system, which is what we are calling as a embedded model for us to work on the development. So we will have the application, OData services, implementation, the single server. So we will be getting these two services within our single ECC system where we will be going and finding those particular services and seeing what are the implementation classes where the ABAP code is written, which gives the data to this service. Then we find what is the project. So every data provider class belongs to one project and uh, we will be using one transaction, which is very important in case of um, service creation or it can be service building or changing those services, implementation of the services, and that is SEGW. So we have worked with SEGW a lot. If you see the NetViewer Gateway course, we saw how the implementation of CRUDQ operation happens, what are those entity sets, or what are basically the functionalities which we have to implement. So as you know, it's a interface, so interface, is provided for you to fill the space with your own specific logic. So if I give you that, okay, these are the interfaces and you basically need to write the code inside the interfaces and uh, tell the service what to do when someone is trying to access data with a key value or without a key value. So queries and read value operation. So all those implementation starts from SGW. So we need to know what is the project. So we'll go and find the project name or the service name with a table, which is um, IW BEP slash I underscore SBD underscore GA. So this is the table which is representing all the mapping for service and uh, your services which are basically getting the data in your url what you can see there and uh, the service name or the project name in scgw so we'll find that and then go to scgw and see the implementation classes and try to see the code so this will be the total flow and we are going to do it in our system so let's get started and perform the activity starting with our Fury Launchpad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside the system and I can basically go and start the launch of Fury Launchpad. The T code is um, slash UI2 slash FLP. So you can also do it here, slash UI2 slash FLP. And it will basically start your Fury Launchpad. So what I will do here is I will start my Fury Launchpad with the T code. Here I have also there in easy access, but um, what I'm going to do is UI2 slash FLP and launch it. So I will be launching it the default browser of my computer, which is going to be Internet Explorer. If you want to open this in some other browser, then you can do it. It seems like that is not launching let's try to run this again and yeah it's just about to start so i'm going to copy this 
URL and um, I'm going to come back and basically here you can see the launchpad itself but I can just paste it here in my Chrome because I need to use my development tool to understand what is the service for the application. So now our objective is to select one particular application. So let's try to select this EPM application, approval or purchase order. You can select any application. So what we will do is we will just follow the steps and try to backtrack from where the data are coming and from where the codes are coming. We are going to see the UI5 code later on with the web ID. The ABAP code which you are seeing as a data here are all coming from OData and uh, those are very important part because those are enterprise data. So let's try to see in our network tab and um, I will refresh this application once again so I can see all the services here the waterfall diagram is there. What I'm mostly interested in is from where the data is coming. So what I can do is I can either do a filter operation here from XHR and it will not show me any of the JavaScript or CSS file. It will only show me the calls for the data. So here I can go inside any of this and you can see that you have a response and some of the header preview will be also given there. And um, mostly if you double click this, it will open in a new tab and um, you can see and read the URL. And this is basically the metadata for client 001. Now, this is the service name. And uh, let's try to see and find some more data where we are getting the actual data for the application here. We have some error. And um, I will be also mentioning that, okay, how can you find the error logs and all. But um, for now, we are just trying to find a service which we get data for our application. So we have got one. And here, as you can read, after prefix SAP, OPU, OData, SAP. And this is basically the service name. And... Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check if I can get some other service name also. It seems like a lot of service names or a lot of service are using this. So I'm going to see and verify this here as well. So let's copy this SCP MRA underscore PO underscore APV. So we have a metadata here as well. And uh, you can see just what are the properties this service returns and you can see that it gives you purchase order and uh, purchase order item so you can also basically format this in json value so much easier to read so all the tags are gone now i'm using json beautifier google chrome plugin which is making the beautification of the json you can also see if you don't have the plugin, it will come in a raw manner. So let's try to see if we can show it. But so it will come in a raw manner. So what you're basically getting from this service is purchase order and purchase order item. And uh, those are what you're getting.